Hello everybody. Uh, yesterday we released our Power Pack extension for Storefront, um, which adds a, a bunch of cool features, uh, particularly uh, a designer feature that lets you customize the look of um, a multitude of elements on, on pretty much any page. Um, and the header layout configurator, which lets you adjust the layout of your storefront header, as the name suggests. Uh, obviously the extension requires you to be using the storefront theme, which you can download for free at wordpress.org. Um, for this video, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, the two features I just mentioned in particular uh, by essentially taking a vanilla uh, installation of storefront here, and I'm gonna make it look somewhat similar to this website, ASOS, which is a, a very popular uh, e-commerce site in the UK at least I'm not sure about the rest of the world but I think it's I think it's pretty big um, so yeah let's let's jump in I have power pack activated uh, so we're going to the customizer um, and I suppose the first thing to do we'll go, we'll go through some options that uh, that are in storefront core that we can get started with for example the header background so this website has a white background on the header so we can do that here Um, has a lot of, uh, in fact, pretty much all the text is is black, apart from a few links. So change that in here as well. Do the same for the typography here. Um, and the layout, I think. Yeah. So they have a sidebar on the left. Okay, so that's the basics. Now let's start looking at uh, some of the power pack features. So let's start, we'll probably start at the top of the page and work my way down. That seems like a good idea. I'll probably start jumping around as we progress, but uh, yeah. So they have a logo, uh, search in the middle, um, a sort of account section here, um, uh, currency, uh, converting widget. We don't actually have anything like this in, in Storefront or WooCommerce uh, core. Uh, so we'll probably we'll probably put our cart uh, element here in place of that. And then they have main navigation and secondary navigation. Um, so we'll replicate this layout roughly. Um, for these, you could add these to the header widget region. You'd need to probably um, create these elements yourself. So I'm not going to copy these because that would involve a little bit of, of CSS. I mean, there might be a plugin or something you can use. I'm not sure, but we'll leave those for now and just focus on the, the main header elements. So in Power Pack, you can go to the header configurator, open that, and you'll see you can add the core storefront elements like so, and then you can start playing around with the layout. So primary navigation was down here, sort of about half width, I guess, maybe make that a little bit wider. Secondary navigation is next to it. Um, the logo is probably a bit wider. Search in the middle. And then we say if we put the cart over there. So let's do that. So you can see this is pretty simple and uh, to use and hopefully understand you place the blocks where you want them and drag and drop the widths in the order and when you're finished you should have something that resembles that preview so you can see uh, yeah that's looking fairly close I suppose we could make the search a little bit smaller to match and now the car's too big I mean, you can play around with this as much as you like and, and do all sorts, really. Yeah, let's let's go with that for now. Um, now for the styling, uh, I suppose let's do some, some global styling. The, the font is, uh, I think it's Future or something they're using, which isn't available as a Google font. So we'll just use um, Open Sans or something. So let's go into the designer and start adding some styles. So you click add a style, the add a style button and you 
see here you can hover over a variety of things, uh, point and click and start editing them. Now what I want to do is edit the body, so this, these are sort of global styles that are going to apply to, to everything on the page. Um, and let's change the font to just Open Sans uh, for the purposes of this. Um, we'll leave the size as it is for now. I mean, the, the font size here is really small. Uh, I don't like that personally, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, you can do whatever you like. Um, so yeah, that's that's the first sort of global thing I want to look at. Text color that's going to inherit from this, uh, the the storefront core options that we set up earlier, so that's all good. Um, what else do we need to do on the body? Um, well, there's this black bar on the t across the top of ASOS with these menu items in it. Um, uh, there is a storefront plugin to add uh, widgets to the, like the above the header section. I'm not gonna install that, but let's let's recreate this um, this black bar. So how shall we do that? Um, I guess we can add a background color to the body. Let's do this, make that black. And then add some padding to the top. I don't know, 25 pixels, something like that. That works, make it a bit bigger. Okay, um, now as you can see, this has made this the background of this section black as well, which we don't want. So we can click add a style Try to highlight it. There we go. Background color, that's border color. Background color, let's make that white. Okay. So now we have this black bar across the top. And uh, the headers all laid out fairly similar. Um, and we've set the typography. Now let's have a look at the breadcrumb. So our breadcrumb has this background, which we don't want. The links are underlined. Um, so first of all, let's get rid of the background color. Just make that white. Um, now this one has a border underneath. Uh, in PowerPack currently, you can put a border around an element, but not uh, specifically um, a top or bottom or left or right border. Um, so I suppose for the purpose of this demo, we can just add a border like so, and that'll give you an idea. That's maybe a little bit light, something like that. Okay, so yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, what else? Okay, so the main navigation, they're using a serif font and the secondary navigation as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So add a style, we can choose, we can actually either choose the links specifically or the main navigation itself as an item. So you can add padding and margin and backgrounds and stuff to each of those items independently. So let's just click on the link, change the font family to Georgia, that'll do. Uh, I'm not sure what font they're using. Um, now their items are in all caps. That's not an option you can tweak in uh, the storefront power pack, but you could uh, through the WordPress menus feature, just change the labels on these menu items to be all caps if you wanted to do that. Um, so yeah, the serif, let's do the same for the secondary navigation. Okay, so that's the header layout fairly close. I mean, you can also tweak the alignment. So for example, uh, this main navigation and the secondary navigation, they're not quite in perfect alignment, so we can just add a small margin top to the secondary navigation. I don't know, how much do we need? 10 pixels or so? No, nope, that's too much. Five, maybe? Yeah, let's say six. That'll do. Um, and likewise, we can do the same here, so the, the cart button isn't lining up particularly nicely with the search, so you can add a negative margin as well to the top, bring that up. Like so. Cool. That might actually have affected the secondary now as well a little bit. So you can go back in there and fix that if you need to. So that's the header. Let's let's start looking at the main content section now.
Um, so for their products, for a start, they've got four columns instead of three. So let's go into the shop section of the power pack settings and change columns to four. Uh, they're displaying for 8, 12, 16. Yeah, they're displaying loads of products. Um, I don't actually have that many in this, this demo, so we'll just have to display 11 for now. Um, let's look at the design again. So their, the content of their products is all aligned left. Uh, the titles are very small. There's no add to cart button displayed. Um, yeah, the line heights very small. Um, yeah, let's let's recreate that. So again, add a style. Click on the product, which can be tricky to select because a lot of the stuff in here is customizable. There it is. Um, and we want to reduce the font size a little bit, I think. Um, and probably from there, I tell you what, let's leave that for now and let's let's get rid of some stuff. So again, shop page. We can get rid of the add to cart button, get rid of the rating, get rid of the sale flash. Um, and so now we've just got the title and the price, just like on ASOS, align things to the left. Okay, go back to the designer and let's get rid of the margin on uh, the image like so five um, let's do the same with the product title okay uh, what about the colors and stuff? So the price is bold. So let's add a style to the price. Um, I can't actually make that bold. I'm sure there's a reason for that, but I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. Um, let's see what happens if we actually edit the product and say, ah, of course. So there isn't a, uh, you can't change the font variant, uh, but you can make it bold using the font style uh, toolbar there. Um, so the title, that margin could probably be a bit smaller actually, you could make it a negative margin like so. Um, on ASOS they have the, t so the titles actually slightly lighter than black, so something like that. So there we go. Um, what else shall we look at? Uh, what about the actual, what about the sorting and pagination and things like that? So they have the sorting and the, the number of items here. So that's, that's fairly similar. You can't actually change the layout of these um, items at present. Normally the pagination would appear over here, but like I say, I don't have a huge amount of products in this, this dummy store. Um, so you can't see that at the moment. Uh, but we can change the description and the title. So they have slightly different layout. They have the description up here and the title is, is in all caps. Again, you can't make things all caps, but if you actually change, for example, the, the category title specifically to be in all caps, then that would work. Uh, but, it, but it's small, so we can make this smaller. Uh, font size, 20. Maybe that's, that feels really small to me. Uh, let's say 24, get rid of this letter spacing because it's, it's small, it doesn't need it now. Um, and the description, for the description, let's just, uh, let's move it because I can't bear to have big chunks of typography that small. So let's just move it out of the way. Like so, brings the products up a little bit. Um, so yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. It's it's looking it's looking fairly similar now, to be honest. Uh, finally, let's just have a look at the widgets. So again, can't do caps, but just uh, change the widget title if you want to do that. Um, 
the widget title on here is okay so they have it slightly different they have like groups um, which you can't really do in WordPress but the actual individual so th these are essentially layered navigation widgets and their titles are fairly small so I think let's make this smaller and reduce the padding a bit something like that sorry reduce the margin not the padding like that um, can probably make in fact we can probably make the font size of the whole widget smaller like so because I think yeah this I mean this is tiny and not particularly usable in my opinion but yeah um, yeah so now I guess we uh, we have something that's fairly closely for you know 10 minutes work or however long this this video is something that, that resembles this website quite well uh, and I hope this demonstrates the uh, the capabilities of, of the power pack extension or at least you know the header layout configurator and uh, the designer feature you can do a whole lot more like if you were to go into a product page you can start tweaking the layout there and designing elements there um, and there's all these other options as well you can uh, for your home page you can toggle uh, components there whether they display or not change the titles number of columns um, all these kind of things uh, footer um, you can oh yeah, you can remove the handheld footer bar which is a feature of storefront storefront core which when you're on viewing it on a, a mobile device displays you know, like a, a toolbar across the bottom with links to the home page to search and to the cart, so you can disable that if you want to. Uh, there's a bunch of options for the checkout layout. Um, there's a distra distraction free mode, which removes things like navigation and cart and breadcrumbs and sidebars and all that stuff from your checkout. So it's literally just your logo and the checkout fields, which can help increase conversions. Uh, you can make it a two step checkout as well, if that's your thing. Um, and finally, yeah, you can tweak message colors if you want to. Uh, I know that in, in different cultures, different colors can mean different things and green isn't always good uh, and red isn't always bad. Um, so yeah, like I say, that gives you an idea of the, the power pack features and what you can do with it. I uh, hope you enjoy the video, let me know and uh, I'll see you around, ciao.